Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for the scrapbook coach at home kits, scrapbooking coach at home kits. Um, and her name is Anna and she is such, such a treasure. So I have this kit and I, it's called Nordic Nights love it there's all of these great pieces that you can fussy cut like I've got these birdies that I so need to work into aren't they just the most beautiful they are beautiful little bits I mean look at these sweet little babies so these little guys guys and girls girls and guys get to be a part of this now I also want this barn to be a part of it um so I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut around some of these pine trees, get some little birdies on here. Not even sure exactly where I need to go. Ooh, that one needs to go down nice and low where I need to go with it all, but I love it. Now, I have a picture of a birdie. This is a blue jay. I think these are supposed to be robins, although my robins aren't that pretty on my bird feeder. Mr. Blue Jay's pretty. Um, oh, we have the most beautiful cardinals, but that's a whole nother story. They would not cooperate during the time I was trying to score pictures for this layout. So I'm going to use that. I've already fussy cut out all of my robin bits. Um, now, it's very green right here. Y'all, this was taken in November in Michigan. It will be green one day, frosty and cold one day. October, it snowed here. Things just happen. We'll see how it goes. So I've got this. I don't think I need to bring this in on this. This might be for another layout. I'm not quite sure yet. We have so many gorgeous, pretty things. Now let's look at a sketch. Now I know I have a strong piece on the bottom. Let's see what, ooh, well that could kind of work, but I'm not going to do any banner kind of things. This is the volume four sketchbook. I can have links down below. You guys can get your hands on all this kind of stuff. It is fabulous. What am I feeling? I only have the one photo and I have stuff going on up there and stuff here that kind of is grabbing the vibe of what I am doing. Oh, I love that sketch. That one's fun. So this is the newest sketchbook. I also want to get my hands on the um, card making sketchbook. I think that would be so quick and so easy to just go boom and get all of things done. Ooh, that one's fantastic. So yeah, I just flipped through. This is like that perfect thing when you're like, you know what, I just want go time and I don't want to have to, you know, do the thinking. This is a fabulous way to do that. And I have to stop looking at the sketches. I'm looking at them like this is like brand new to me, this book. <laughs> but, you know, I own it. Um, you know what? We're going to do. There's so many that I'm looking at that will totally work. Okay, that works. And what's the other one I was looking at? This right here. Guys, this isn't even going to be close, but it's inspiring me. We've got this large bottom piece. We have the photos right here and embellishments kind of tight to it. I like the idea that's really... It's, it's giving me the good feel. So I have that. I'm kind of feeling that idea. I even like this. You have torn bits with like pieces tucked in. Guys, how do you pick? What I really want to do, and I've been thinking about it, is a whole series using this sketchbook and going from one to the next to the next. That might be a cool thing to do for um, next year. Might be. Ooh. Guys, no, no, no. I'm switching to this. So this is a bottom piece. And I'm not doing it with this orientation per se. I'm going to go like this. Here's my bottom piece. I want to layer up some pieces, have my title kind of tight to my photo, just have a couple little birdies. What do you think? Okay, let me get my sticky note that I pop into place so I don't lose things. What I'm going to do in the meantime, I need to fussy cut this out. I know I'm going to have birdies, but they're going to be kind of tight to my title. Um, let's see. T-W-E-E-T. -E -E yeah, my title is Tweet. Now, what I like to do with pieces like this, <laughs> I always keep these pieces from when I use cut files. Um, what I like to do, because I'm not quite sure how I want to get this title on yet, I'm going to just pop these pieces like totally willy-nilly wherever there's a big enough place that I can attach them down. That way I can go ahead and cut them out. I can scuff up the edges. I can do any of that kind of stuff and then move them around a little bit. I know this seems kind of weird, but this works for me. And then I also feel like I did not waste any paper 
Like I literally will save my white to do stuff like this. It's totally true. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead. I have some fussy cutting and all that kind of stuff to do. Meet you right back. All here. right, let's start getting into this. I have this piece that we talked about, fussy cut and popped up just on a little foam. No big deal. I'm thinking right now this photo will go here, but who knows, that's just an idea. And then these little birdies, I popped that one off of one of those cut pieces. I like the idea of getting one of the little female birdies in. Uh, so she's a little bit of a lighter hue, of course. So I'm gonna put some berries with her. And then this might be nice to have this birdie kind of up in the trees. Perfect. Now this piece that we have here, it's scuffy, it's torn. This was from a previous layout that I did and then I didn't even end up using this torn thing that I did because you know, things evolve. That's just how it goes. What I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of popping up that end a little bit to create a little interest. No biggie. And what I'm doing is I'm basically covering up this deeper color because I really am concentrating on more of this bright pop of the red right now. So we'll just go ahead and use that scrap that I tore from something last time. Perfect. And we'll go like that. Great. We've got a little bit of a piece up. So it's a bit of a tone on tone. But what I was thinking would be so cute is, and I'm going to cut this, so don't worry. So I will go, oh, trash truck is here. I'm going to go ahead and cut like this much. When I say this much, that means I have no idea. Okay, I'm going to cut a little bit. And my photo is going to be on this side because Birdie is facing this way. So when I, I'm thinking of attaching it to the back, I've got this little tiny bit right here that I want to trim off. There we go. Little string. So I'm going to attach it to here. And we're going to create a little bow, like somewhere right here, if you wonder what I'm doing. So that means... I need about this much to go on this side, this much to go wrapped around here, and I'll bring it over and we'll create a nice little bow right there. So we're gonna have a nice pop of red. And where did my little female go? Do you guys see my cute little female birdie? Oh, there she is, she's so cute. And then there's some berries somewhere. Now I do have my title, which is just tweet. So we're gonna get that. And then guys, like two seconds later, we're gonna put a few snowflakes on, some bling, and boom, 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 it'll be done. Let me get my bow on there. Um, I also wanna see if there's any paper that I want to map my photo with. Maybe a piece of this and a piece of this. And so a I have some really nice headway on this and I want to grab this like, rather sturdy, nice stencil. and. Pop in some snowflakes, and I'm thinking like the smaller ones on this, because they're just gonna be a little bit of something in the background. I've got my birdies in place. Oh, and I decided to also mat this, uh, this photo on this little piece that reads Noel, another one of the great fussy cut bits. I am loving so many pieces. Ooh, that's so pretty too. It's hard to pick sometimes, but I did want to get another little mat and I think I'll just go ahead and tuck it here. Let me see if there's any other pieces that just, ooh, do like that fishtail banner that, oh guys, that's gonna be perfect underneath the birdie. Oh guys, I was trying to show you some, um, some molding paste stuff and I started seeing other pieces that are fussy cut and I get excited but I mean right now the birdie is on a stick but kind of hanging so this is going to ground my birdie just a little bit better he's gonna have a bit of a house and I do like that it's tone on tone so there's something there but it's not kind of taking over all right perfect now Mr. Birdie's going back down Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, not that it has to be perfect, don't get me wrong. It's working for what I was hoping it would work. Okay, that's a gorgeous tag as well. What I'm looking at right now, so I've got this weird little gap and I'm wondering like, do I go ahead and pop something there? But like, 
just because I don't like dead space and I'm kind of feeling that. So this little guy is just getting tucked for a very little reason. I mean, the reason being is I don't like trapped space. It gives me a, uh, a little bit of a pause. So if I do that, we don't have the trapped space. I'm going to like it. Ta-da. So now we have a place. I'm going to actually, these little bits on my, um, my little branches, I'll tuck them down in a minute. I just wanted to make sure I can get my molding paste in place before I tucked everything down because, you know, you never know if you want to kind of slide something under. All right, so now here's the thing. I'm doing molding paste like like after, after like half of this is designed in my head. So I'm using Cloud Whip. I am a big fan of Cloud Whip. I actually left it open a bit. I need to give it a little tiny bit of a squirt before I put it away. Add a little tiny bit of moisture back in. All right, so like what I was saying is I want to just grab a couple of these snowflakes. Actually, I'm gonna do these three. I don't even know if they're all gonna show, but I'll have five in the background probably because I tend to be a lover of the odd number. Molding paste does not need to be perfect, not terribly concerned, but super pretty, right? So we have that. I like that. I'm kind of liking the idea of a little bit over here. And that's probably just going to be the two and it's okay. I'm going to do it kind of as if they're going off the page. There we go. We get a nice little chunkaroo of that. So we've got some of that going off the page. That's fine. Um, let's see what else we want to do. So I like that and I think we need to do like here, 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 and then going off the page, going this way without totally ruining the molding paste I already did. So one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna want the eight, but I definitely want snowflakes in the background. So we're just gonna go with it and see the vibe. Boop. There we go. Have to clean up my background, but yeah, now we have something kind of interesting in the background giving us just a little extra oomph but because i don't like even numbers let me go ahead and pop Boop. one more on perfect all right i'm gonna let this dry a little bit but in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and pop that photo right back on and see if there's any other little details but guys we are almost done with this so i've got these pieces on i have my title right alongside there's a nice place to nestle it so that was great now, on the bottom of this piece here, you know, we had the gingham, but there was these little wordy bits. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple of them and scuffed up the edges just a tiny bit. And I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of those words on. Look at my hands. I have stuff on them. So I thought that might be cute to get a couple of wordy bits in here and there on this. You know, we have them and it's always great to kind of build out your story a little bit. So I'll put a little wordy bit in each of my cluster. And then these cute little snowflakes. Thinking, I have some of these little itty bitty snowflakes. Wouldn't it be cute to pop them up or do I leave it subdued? But I like the idea of them popped up. So <laughs> that's how that's gonna go. So we've got the word love here. I have memories on that one. And then cozy, I'm gonna put on this one. Because they're sweet little birdies and they get to have little words. So cute. And it's bringing in that really nice hot pink. So pretty. All right. So what I'm going to do now is grab a little pop dot and some of these itty bitty little snowflakes that I have. They're either fussy cut out or they are die cut out. Go ahead and curl it up a little bit. Mr. Snowflake can be a little tiny bit scuffy and pop it right in the center to give myself just a little something extra. So for example, I've got, ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> All these little bits are coming out. They're so pretty. Okay, let me find some of these fab snowflakes and see if I can find a couple of little ones 
because that's what I'm looking for at this point. Like this itty bitty cute little tiny bit. Let's see if I can actually get a small enough piece of adhesive on it. I might have to get like this little strip I have. I keep these um, strip pieces of adhesive on the side of my desk, kind of ready to go. I'm just gonna get a little tiny one, pop it right there. And I'm gonna keep going just like that. All right, let me get those on there. I think a couple bling bits and I'll come back and show you the finished layout. Guys, to finish this off, I think I'm gonna just do some sweet little clusters around my wordy bits of these gems. So I'm gonna use one medium and two small. They're so little, it's almost hard to see them. They're so cute. I mean, once they're on the page, you can see them because gems add like so much like punch to things. Put that one down just a little bit. So I'm gonna just add a few little bling bling bits and then guys, this layout's gonna be done. So I hope you like what I came up with. I have tons of paper. Of course, I have my dies. Haven't even gotten into my stamps yet. And, you know, it's one of those things. I'll start getting into, like, these pieces when I have less paper because, you know, you're stretching the kit. And But right now I'm just going off with all of these patterns and all of these pieces that I can fussy cut. I love doing that. A little bit of this piece. You know what? Maybe I'll come down on this one. And then a couple of these tiny, I mean, look at how many gems I have left. It is fabulous. So I'm gonna have still shots to follow guys. I'm gonna have links where you can get your hands on these goodies. You can join the Facebook group and see what everybody else is doing with these great products. And guys, I'm gonna see you guys ever so soon with another video. This was so fun to put together with all of these gorgeous wintry elements. Bye for now, friends.